Yo guys, what is happening with my Total Games and welcome to another video. So today we're here in our lovely city world. I haven't been in this city in a really long time actually. And I uh, came back here the other day and was really impressed by some of the work that we had done here. This was part of the original, or I guess the second second take at the City Let's Play. We came and we actually started the city uh, in the City Let's Play. It got pretty big. I'm, uh, I'm happy with it. I'm thinking of coming back here and maybe doing some more work on it because it is one of my favorites. Um, nevertheless, I'm right here at this store. And if you read the title of the video, you'd know that we're going to be building a functional uh, opening door with command blocks. This is going to be kind of fun, uh, a new challenge. After we did the elevator video, it uh, gave me a couple ideas here. I'm thinking of maybe even doing like a mail system so you could have like post offices. Uh, that would be pretty simple to do, I think. Um, there's a couple other cool ones. I want to see if I can get an escalator to work. That one might be a little bit ambitious, like, you know, like the moving escalators. Maybe I can figure something out, though. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's start off your day with a door. Basically, the idea of it here is it's going to be uh, a glass door. You know how they have the glass sliding doors that open uh, kind of like this? So this would be it in the open position. I always build my doors like this, and they always remain open. But basically, what we're going to be doing is really simple. It's going to be uh, opening those doors up. So I think I'm actually going to do it with these three. So they open when you come here, uh, when you come close to it, and then they're going to close when you exit. Uh, pretty simple wiring, which is why I wanted to show it here. It's a lot easier than using pistons and all that fun stuff. So if you want to build a simple door in your uh, Minecraft world, let's go ahead here and start and uh, see if we can figure it out. First up, I'm just going to put the stone pressure plate right here. This makes the most sense. I'm going to put it right in the middle. You could wire three of them up, but I think it's a little bit unnecessary. Um, so I'm just going to put the one right here and then one on the inside. Because you're not really going to be able to skip them, I don't think. You're always going to trigger it no matter what. Well, maybe not. I mean, the reality is that you're not going to get out without the thing opening anyway. So there's a very rare chance it would get stuck. And it would just fix itself afterwards anyway, I believe. So we'll leave it like this for right now, see if we can figure it out. All right, so underneath we have a little bit of tunnel stuff going on, but not too bad. We'll be able to fit it here. Um, so let's start off here with our first command block. So I'm going to start off here first with the really easy one. We're going to place it right under here. And basically what all we're going to do is we're going to do this with a fill command. And now since the fill command always needs to turn it into air, we basically need to go ahead here and basically build a fill command for this entire door to open up into air. Then if we go ahead, grab that command, we're just going to Apple A it or Command A and then copy it. And then we're just going to simply go ahead here and actually paste it within our command block. Now here's the thing, these actually have to be set up in two command blocks, I've thought about it a little bit here, because if we trigger this as air, and then we make this one close, uh, then when we come and we try to enter it again, this is going to be closed, and that's only going to trigger it to close. So both of these actually have to be in air command, so we can just copy that command block right over, put it underneath there, and now we basically have to wire, um, probably to both of them actually, um, just put a little repeater uh, thing in here, that will basically allow us to go to um, one that will fill it in with the glass. Now the question is, are these repeaters triggered? Uh, no, they're not. Okay, this is where my redstone or lack of redstone knowledge comes into play. Um, so I suppose we had to drop these down by one block. Or what if we put some form of redstone right here? Would that help this out? Perfect. Okay, that's all I was really looking for. So what we can do is we can just have the first command block right here, the fill command. And that should... Oh, no, that won't trigger it, right? Because I need... Oh, it does trigger it. Interesting. Okay, perfect. And then we kind of just set up how far we need to go, which in this case, I think this will be fine. We'll go ahead here and add one uh, block right here, and then that should trigger this one. This is going to fill those three with uh, light gray. I think we use light gray. Uh, and then, or gray, is it? Yeah. Stained glass pane. There we go. Now, same deal with this one. Just do a simple little redstone dust there, then two command blocks, or two repeaters, sorry. These should go into these blocks and then trigger this command block to fill it back in. So, Essentially what we're doing, we're going to trigger this, it's going to start counting down, it probably won't even make it to the end, and then this one's going to start counting down. Even if it does make it to the end, this one's going to make it air again anyway. So hopefully it doesn't, and we might do just the timing here a little bit, but that should do it. Alright, so I step on the first block here, and then the second one, and yeah, that pretty much works. So if we step on this, we're going to see that it goes open for a little bit, but it's very quick. It's kind of like those automatic doors where if you stand in front of them, you stop moving, it closes again. So you kind of got to be quick while going through it. It's closed, we're going to walk through it. We get a little bit extra time here on this one. That's about all the time that you're going to need, though. That's actually pretty cool. I kind of like how it closes very quickly there if you don't move, because it is pretty realistic as to how they work. Only issue, obviously, is I didn't use the correct uh, stained glass. Or actually, you know what? Up here we use this one. I think this was the one that I was supposed to use here anyway. I just placed the wrong one. Oh, that's white, actually. That's not at all. I guess, are we using white? Okay, I think I'm actually using white, white stained glass for this project. So let's just adjust that real quick here. Instead of light gray. We're just going to fill in white, and that's going to solve my issue. You obviously put in whatever block there that you want. You could have a door that's just, you know, strictly, I don't know, gray concrete, and it could be like a secret entrance door. If you want to expand this design and maybe open up the entire 3x3 area, you just got to replace the fill command with this side and this side. So 
you know, you just go ahead here, fill this corner to this corner, and then insert those as your command or your uh, fill command for each one of those command blocks, and then just adjust the block that you want to be. Oh, I was waiting too long. It might be good to adjust it, so then you get one more repeater out of it, or yeah. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I think this works pretty well, actually, so that's pretty cool. And these are not hard to set up at all. Like, really, this took about two seconds, and uh, and it worked pretty well. Uh, I suppose you could probably, yeah, you could probably build this in like a three pressure plate system. I'm just not sure how you go about doing that. But for the most part, even if you miss that block when you walk in, like, like even if I miss, if I miss it, it's still going to close behind me because we have it set up on both sides. Pretty cool. I'm liking how that turned out. All right, so we're going to end today's video there. If you have any other suggestions for things that you want to see built in your city or, you know, a tutorial about uh, regarding command blocks, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave those down below. I'm always looking for ideas, and I loved getting the elevator one. That was super fun to build last time. This one was pretty fun as well. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to go down below, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all in the next video.